Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to create a sequence of repeated values in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line 3 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new vector object appears which is called x. And we can also print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line 4 of the code. And after running this line of code you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector object simply consists of a numeric range ranging from 1 to 5. So let's assume that we want to create a sequence in which each of these numeric elements is repeated five times. Then we can apply the rep function as you can see in line six of the code. And within the rep function, we need to specify the name of our vector object. So in this case, our vector object is called x. Then we need to specify a comma. And then we need to specify the each argument to be equal to the number of times that we want to replicate each of our values. So in this case, we want to replicate each of our values five times. And for that reason, we are specifying the value five at this point. So if you run line six of the code, you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a new vector object is returned. And this vector is consisting of 25 values, whereby each element of our input vector is repeated five times. So in this video I have shown you how to create a sequence of repeated values using the rep function in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.